Tunic of Twilight. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is from the Link Amiibo. We finally got it. Now we have the cap and tunic of Twilight. Two chests. One containing an ancient arrow. And... A royal bow. Oh, wait. I, I just got that. So inside these chests or these boxes or what? This is from the newly acquired... The newly acquired Guardian Amiibo. So, ten arrows, an ancient gear. Did anything blow this way? I probably should have done this out in the open, shouldn't I? Oh, wait, there's still one left. Oh, well, let's blow it up. And grab whatever was right here. Rush room. That one drops. Ancient screw. And an opal. Not bad, not bad. Sometimes they can give Guardian Weapon plus, we plus, plus, so I will take it. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we acquired, oh goodness, we acquired so much. And did we actually put all of it on? I don't remember. We got, let's reorganize. Firstly, the Phantom Gear, which gives us attack up of three. And then we got the Island Lobster Shirt, which gives us some heat resistance, and it looks pretty good. Ravio's Hood, which allows us to climb faster sideways on walls, very thematic. And then we got the Tingle Armor, so we can haunt your dreams. It also has night speed up because he is wanted by the police. Midna's Helmet, which gives us Guardian Resist up. Majora's Mask, which doesn't... It just seems to make it harder for enemies to spot you, but it, that's not a, a stat it says it gives, so I'll take it at its word. The elusive Korok mask, which shakes and jiggles and makes noises whenever any Korok is nearby. Very useful, probably the best piece of, of gear we got out of this. And then finally, my personal favorite... The Phantom Ganon set, which gives us Disguise, which I still don't know what that is, and Bone Attack Up, along with Stealth Up 3. Yeah, we got a, a quite a haul. In fact, over the past two episodes, we filled up almost an entire page of gear. And that's absolutely crazy. So, I'm going to re-equip the Korok Mask, as well as this gear, just because I think it looks a little bit less scary and terrifying. And this episode, we're going to be covering quests, which have been laying around in my in my quest log for quite some time. This one, I was told that there is an axe somewhere around. There's a rupee. Somewhere around the the stable, there is an axe which we need to move or pick up or just collect in general, and that will that will conquer the quest. So I don't know where this axe is, but we will find it together. Well, I guess this is what's causing the problem. There's an axe, Cause it's got my axe <laughs> embedded in his nervous system. I think we did it. Now I just need to find this Korok. Where on earth is this Korok seed? Well, I can't find the Korok seed, and honestly, this mask is probably going to bug me to death because I won't be able to find half the things. I guess I could feed the dog and see what happens there, but I'm just going to call it quits uh, after feeding the dog. Here, take it. Eat it. Eat it. It's for you. Dog. Dog. Yeah. Wait, it, it, did it eat it? I don't think it... Here, just take it. Have it. Alright, let's, let's talk to this guy. What? You found out what was drawing the lightning here. It was an axe. Aha, that's, that's as good as a lightning rod, isn't it? I wonder if someone put it up there on purpose. How strange. Thanks for looking into it for me. Here's something for your trouble. The rub- Whoa. The rubber helm. Okay. I thought this was just a throwaway quest that was going to give us a terrible reward. Shows what I get for being cynical. Man, I feel like I get cynical every day with, old, with my old age and coming. Rubber helm. A helmet made from ancient technologies and electricity-resistant material. It's made from something called rubber, a material that can no longer be found. I can finally relax. But isn't that just the story? I guess maybe it's also because I hang out on the internet, and the internet seems to be angry at everything and everyone. But I feel like I get a bit more cynical as time goes on. I just need to learn to relax and enjoy things. 
like the fact that I can't find this thrice blasted Korok. Why, hello, I certainly didn't expect to see anyone else up here. Ooh. How fortunate to cross paths with you again. Did you come to see the sea? This oddly shaped rock we're standing on is an, the object of a song. Would you like to hear it? No, actually. The reason why I'm here is because you've already sung me the song. The Hero's Cache. An ancient hero spoke these words. One day I'll return to fight evil. My cache is at 17 of 24. This rock will point towards its retrieval. Hmm. Does that mean... I, th I feel like I've tried to do this before without any luck. So I probably need a new approach now. If I feel like it's pointing that way. So I guess I'll swim that way and see what's there? If not, I'm not afraid to look it up. Because I, I feel like you guys would much rather have me look something up than struggle for hours and... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, is that what I want? Is it- was it that easy? Let's see. I mean, it's a chest, and the only way I'll be able to tell if it is the chest is if it pops up on screen and is like, You did it! Gold Rupee! That- <laughs> That was it! Wow. That is, like, the simplest quest in the world. Okay, well, let's return to, to Cass, and just tell him that we did it. I, we're not gonna get an additional reward, but we'll get some additional dialogue at least. Vat sold the hero saving amount to nothing more than a single gold rupee? Hmph. Well, hero though he was, he was much more rich in character than wealth. Still, that is a fair sum. I do hope you make some good use of it. Me too. That was much simpler than I expected. The legendary rabbit trial. Pix really wants to see what a bloopy looks like. Even a picture will do. Apparently, the bloopy is a mysterious creature that glows brightly as it scampers around. And it it usually frequents the Lochna Roki Shrine near the Great Fairy pa Fountain in Kakariko. So, ch odds are, if I just walk around, I should be able to see it. It's almost always here. Yep, there it is. There it is. This should be an easy... Easy quest, providing I don't scare it off. Which means I should probably equip the stealth gear. And then climb... Oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Where... No! Ah. I don't know where uh, Bloopies spawn, so besides here, so I'm just gonna hope that if I warp back to Loch Ness Rokey, it's still here. Oh, Bloopy, Bloopy! You see it? It's across the water. Oh, that's that's a great turn for me. Sneaking around. I did see it. I'm not crazy. Make sure I don't actually accidentally bump into it. I don't see it now though. Did it disappear again? Or is it right on the other side of one of these trees? I did see it. I'm not crazy. Maybe it fell. It looks like now that I've scared off the bloopy, I'm going to have to wait for a certain amount of time to pass before it will respawn. So that quest being a bust, let's go over to the... Let's see, the Gerudo Canyon Stable, and give that guy, wait, how many does he want? He wants 55 rush rooms, and we currently have, I don't think we have 55. I believe we have, where are they? 52. Thankfully, I know of a place where we can buy them. Having bought rush rooms from the Koroks in the Korok Forest, we now have more than enough. Hey, I think I remember this guy's voice. I thought you'd come back. You bring the stuff? I brought him. But I think I have a better voice for him. 5, 15, 25, 35, 55. Hey, yep, they're all here. I left that rock I promised you behind the stable. Beats me why anyone would go to such trouble for such a little old rock. I'd rather have rush rooms any day. Hey, come back when you got more. I'm always here. 
I can't give you any more diamonds, but I can offer twice the market value for them. Just remember that I won't deal in any other volume than 25 at the time. <coughs> that voice I should never do again. So he left something behind the stable chest. He left a chest. Which has a, the promised diamond in it? Yeah. So now we have eight diamonds. Aw, oh, yeah. The next quest I would like to cover is... Go all the way up to the top here. Uh, the eighth heroine we can't do without exploring a new area. The weapon com connoisseur will need to get a traveler's sword. I am not sure where we could get a traveler's sword, but I have a theory. There. Back it up a bit. He's gonna suck it up, hopefully. Yep. Spit it at me. Spit it at me. Come on. Perfect. It hurt a lot. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I need it. Where'd it go? Oh, whoa. They're, they're playing catch with it. Where'd it go? Got it. No. No, stop. They're... Give it to me. Did I get it? Did I get it? I got it. Let's get out of here. It feels like, at the end of the day, all roads lead to Hitano Village. And this one's no different, as this quest brings us back to Neb. Hey, hmm? Oh, isn't that the Traveler Sword? So cool, let me see. Here you go. Take the, take the sword, little child. Yeah, look at it. It's for traveling. And, you know, not cutting things. Whoa, the real thing is the really the real deal. Thanks. Here's a token of my thanks. You got a red rupee. That was for my grandpa. He always said, give it to the one who can show you the real deal. So don't worry about it. All right, next. Grandpa said he wanted to see, what was it again? Um, oh, I remember now. All right. Have you heard of the fire rod? Oh, goodness. I've seen it in books, but never in real life before. If you find it, please let me see it. Oh, where did I see a fire rod? I saw one just last episode. Was it? Oh, goodness. I, I know I saw this thing. Was it... Here? Yes! Fire arrow, or fire... Fire thing. Oh, yeah. Let's... I missed. Take that. No. You. Die. And then, in the manner of my people, I will miss. Uh, die again. Fire rod. Yes. Hooray for my memory. Right next to the Dig Dog suspension bridge is the fire rod I needed. Also a shrine, which we'll get to later. Hey, Neb! Look at this fire rod! Isn't that the fire rod? You remembered I promised. Let me see it and set my brother on fire! Yep, this is the rod. It burns people alive. Wow, so awesome, so cool. Gramps will flip when he hears this. Uh, thank you. Thank take this as a token of my thanks. Okay, what next? No worries. Gramps told me to give it to you, the person who teaches you how to fight. Close enough. Alright, next. Gramps said you wanted to see what was it again. Um, I remember. All right. <laughs> have you heard of the mob? And I think I have. No, I I threw it at someone and it broke. <sighs> yes, Moblin Club. And I don't have one. Uh, but I know where to find one actually. That would be next to the next to the Great Plateau. There are probably some Moblins just chilling, and I could kill them. Hello, sir. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Oh, I need your club. Boko Bat. That is not a Moblin Club. Die! That works. And then, before I blow up... Oh, he has a sword. Man, I don't need you. And it didn't even hurt him. I don't need that. Got it. 
Hey, buddy! Slow down. Hey! Hmm? Oh, isn't that the Moblin Club? So cool, let me see. And to continue this, if you want to whack your parents like you whack a fish you just brought up from the deep, you use a Moblin Club. It's even more amazing than I ever imagined. I saw just one just like that in a book. Thanks for letting me see. Take this as a thank you. Oh, the reward's getting bigger. That was from my grandpa. He said, give it to the one who could show you the real deal. So don't worry about it. All right, next. He wants a... A duplex bow. I think I have one. I, I believe I have one. Uh, yeah, I, I have a duplex bow. That's easy. Here, take this. Hey! Huh? Isn't that... Yeah, it, it, eat it. <laughs> Let's see. This thing shoots two shots at once. This is so that you can kill both the bullies at school at the same time. You see, normally you, th you floor one and the other one just destroys you. This way you can get them both. Gramsville flips when he hears that I saw this. Take this lots of money. Okay, what's the next one? Next one is a wind cleaver. Yes, I have it. Oh, this is easy. Hey, hmm? That's a wind cleaver. Take it. This is the first cool weapon which he's asking us to show him. It's, it's a, it makes wind. Like, you can't beat that. Whoa, looks strong. And remember, this is what you use to dry off your laundry. When you need to dry off your laundry. Thanks, take this. The reward. I'm guessing the reward's going to scale up to a, a gold rupee. And... That's... We've already made a lot of money off of this quest. What else does he want? An ancient battle axe plus, huh? Okay, I'm guessing that's where the... The quest ends. Although, I have been told in the comment section... Modest, major... That I can go back to uh, tests of strength after a blood moon and the enemies will respawn. So let's test that theory. A major test of strength, and we can even use this as a an opportunity to test out our new gear. We got Midna's helmet, also known as the Fused Shadow, as well as our Ancient Karas, although this is better. Yeah, this is better, so I guess we should be using that. And let's fight this guy. The gate is shut, so that's a good sign, and the, the lower portion is down, and... It looks like you guys were right, so if I ever need to farm for these weapons, or <clears throat> take a picture of, of of Guardian Scouts, which I needed to do, and went through the, the test of the trials again. Again? Didn't you just try this? Also, you're below half health, so you should be out of this phase. Yeah, this should this should do him in. Also, I'm using I'm using a duplex bow. Let's use this. Come on. Ugh, that was close. That's a plus plus. Uh, don't I not need a plus plus? I need a plus weapon, don't I? Uh, that's that's a bit awkward. Here, let me check. Yeah, he wants an Ancient Battle Axe plus. So let's go to the Modest Test of Strength. I'll cut that out and we'll get a Guardian Axe plus. Hey! Huh? Is that a Guardian Axe Plus? You bet your sweet mom it is. <laughs> you use this when you gotta go out and get some chicken meat. Take your neighbor's chickens and you just chop a chop. That's, that's it. Don't be so modest. And wants to see a frost spear. A frost Frost Spear. Where am I supposed to get a Frost Spear? Well, who do you think I am? A developer? As far as I know, there's a limited supply of Frost Spears in the world, sir. So what I can gather is that we've never seen a Frost Spear out in the wild, at least not to my recollection. So, considering that the area up here appears to be mountainous... I'm going to guess that we're supposed to get those, or see them commonplace, around here. 
So I guess we'll just put a pin in this quest for now, and then we can bring little Neb his sp his frost spear later. All right, uh, rounding off the end of the episode, we're not going to be getting through all of these this time, but I would like to at least investigate a shady customer. We have no, we got this in the East uh, uh, Oculus stable, and I didn't look into it at all. I have no clue why, like what we're supposed to do, but I'm willing to give it a shot because I've heard in the comment section that it's it's pretty important. All right, let's warp over to the stables and see if we can do some sleuthing. Hey, you, raining in the night, it seems. Need an info about Kilton? I believe that's who we're... <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that face there. Tell me about Kilton. <laughs> there are a few reports of people spotting Kilton at Skull Lake. But I wonder why he only appears at night. Unfortunately, I can't leave the spot. I'm on guard duty after all. <laughs> I'll be waiting to see a close-up picture of him. Is that what we're supposed to get? A close-up picture? I don't remember. We're supposed to get an image of him to show Haas and your Haas. So, Skull Lake. I don't remember Skull Lake. It's been a while since we were in Akala. There's Toto Lake. Where is this mysterious Skull Lake? Skull Lake. Oh, yeah. The, the place that, actually, I didn't pay attention to this before, is shaped like a skull. Let's go. Beautiful Skull Lake. It's been a long time since we were here. Uh, what do you... Wait, what? Did we just find it? Is it that easy? Apparently, it's that easy. We just found it. Okay. <laughs> Man, I'm good at these quests. Hey. You. Uh, well, first, let's... Let's get a picture of this man. Or his back is to us. Well, we'll get a picture anyway. Just, just for the collection. Kilton! Hello! Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's just a Hylian. Me? My name is Kilton. I suppose you're here because you heard I was just opening a monster shop, and you wanted to see it for yourself. Yes, I'm opening a monster shop called Fang and Bone. I'm still preparing for my grand opening. Here's my business card. Fang and Bone, come see old Kilton for the most monstrous deals in all of Hyrule. I'm going to need that card back. It's the only one I have. Anyway, do you, uh, are you into monsters? I mean, Lionel's are pretty cool. How, uh, how much do you like them? Uh-huh. I adore them. Look at that face. I love monsters more than you do. I, uh, sorry. I did it again. I just love the field of monster research so much that I decided to open a shop all about monsters. I call it Fang and Bone. I feel like we've been here before. I travel all around Hyrule in search for rare and exciting monster parts, but I'm not sure which village I should visit next. Kakariko or Hateno? Though Rito and Zora's Domain are also good options. Hmm. I suppose I could go all the way to Gerudo or Lurlin, but Lake Akala is much closer. <laughs> I'm so excited I can hardly contain myself. I just can't sit around while there are monsters to be studied. I'm off. I'm sure we'll meet again in some village during the night. Fare thee well. Okay, then. Did we do it? Will we be seeing him? Okay, that's... That's creepy. Giant... Venus flytraps. I'm just gonna get out of the water as quickly as possible. Yeah. That's kind of creepy. I'm not sure why. It should look beautiful, but I guess at a place called Skull, uh, Skull Lake. This is just a bit creepy. 
So it looks like there's nothing below them. And I'm just going to swim over here now. Before they eat me. Just right over here. There, now I can talk with and actually think about what I'm saying. So, I guess we're going to be finding him at other cities? I guess we can start with Zora's Domain. But first, let's go back to that guard and see what he has to say about Kilton. I mean, he seems like a stand-up guy. It's not like he's doing anything illegal. Hey, guard man, you were walking the same way when we last met. Good evening. Sadly, this guy over there is not to, there to interrupt our view. Good evening. Mm hmm? You've got information about Kilton? Allow me to take a look. <laughs> I see. How strange. Seriously, I can't thank you enough. This will surely help me to hunt him down. Really, I must thank you somehow. Got a silver rupee. Well, I must return to my mission now. Farewell. Huh. Kilton, huh? We're gonna have to investigate that a bit further from here on out, because... That seems like something that's important. We don't know exactly what Kilton sells yet. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching! If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you'd like to tell me how to find Kilton and discover exactly what it is that he creates and sells, then type it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Okay, as for what we're going to be doing next episode, uh, let's see. We could start the episode with taking a picture of a bloopy. The only reason why I wasn't able to do that was because I accidentally scared it away. So we can go ahead and take a picture of bloopy. I don't need any input on that. I, I think I have it on my own. Uh, the eighth heroine we cannot tackle until we start exploration of a new area. Let's see. The weapon connoisseur, if you know where I can get a frost spear from the explorable map, and by that I mean places that I have been before, then go ahead and tell me. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume that it has something to do with the area where we have not been. I do not remember any weapons or enemy, any enemies carrying that weapon before, so I'm just going to assume that we haven't come across that yet. Otherwise, there is, for the ground up, uh, we, let's see, there, we've never gotten a Rito, so that's something that can only be done when we explore a new area. There are also the, the additional DLC. I guess we could track down the, the bridle and the horses thing, that, while that is part of the new DLC... It is fairly innocent. I don't think it has anything to do with the the story. So we can we can go ahead and tackle that, I guess. And then we're all set to start exploring new areas. Okay, I think that sounds good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join us next time where we conquer some quests... And hopefully start exploring the new areas. Unless, of course, you guys have input for me. That's possible too. <gasps> oh, we've never seen one of these in an actual in the actual overworld. Oh, yeah, I have a I have a, a skeleton mount. We have not seen one of these before in the normal overworld. I thought this was just something you could find in uh in the Master Trials. Well, cool. Alright. See you guys next time.